If you're looking for a satisfying career where you can really make a difference and help people, the Las Cruces Fire Department has an academy every single year. And before I introduce the chief, I do want to disclaim that you don't have to look like Superman in order to get a great career going at the Las Cruces Fire Department. But if you do look like Superman, Chief Jason Smith, nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Great, Chief. Okay, now, I'm not a big guy. Clearly, you are built to fight something. Fires will work and be an EMT. Uh, but you're saying all shapes, all sizes, anybody could be a firefighter if they have the passion. That's right, that's exactly right. Like We train everybody to take on the physical demands of the job, but what we really look for is people that share our core values, that want to help their community and give more of themselves to, to really fight that fire, right? Whatever that emergency may be, that's what we're looking for, is people with our core values. And it's about people. I mean, you've got to really care about people because you're dealing not only with fires, but you're dealing with people that are sick, that are you know on drugs potentially, or in, in, in a critical medical situation. We do, we run into that quite often, right? So we are an advanced life support team. We, we go to every EMS call, and we do find people in their worst day where they're sick or they're you know just not having their best life, right? They're, they're in a very difficult situation. So you have to have that empathy, you have to have that well to go to and be able to care for people. And sometimes all they need is somebody to talk to, and other times they need, you know, they need cardiac support. They need you to administer drugs, to do CPR. But what we really need is people that just care about others. Okay, Chief, I'm going to put you to the test. Here I am, all 54 years of me, and I'm ready to go. So let's say somebody is interested. What is the first step in a career with Las Cruces Fire Department? The first step, obviously, is to look at our, our website, find out when we're taking applications, but really what we suggest people do is spend time with a fire crew. So do a ride along, come and spend time on a fire engine or fire truck, and see what the job is like. That's what I did over 22 years ago. I rode with Engine 2 with Lieutenant Calderazzo and his crew for 12 hours. And before I got done with the first two hours of the day, I knew that this was, this was my calling. This is where I belonged. Okay, so let's say you do the ride along and you're a yes, I want to move forward. What's the next step? So next you've, you've applied and what we're going to have is a, a written test. So we invite everyone in who's applied, who meets the minimum qualifications, which is GED, high school diploma, 18 years or older. You come and you take a written test. And that's basically a high school equivalency with some mechanical aptitude testing. And if you pass that, then we're going to call you in for an interview. Okay, now it's time to get physical. What am I doing? Yeah, so once you pass the, the interview, we're gonna bring you out here to our training grounds here at the Las Cruces Airport, and you're gonna do our physical ability test. So we have seven or eight events that you go through, all one after another, wearing some level of firefighter gear for applicants. It's the pack, it's the helmet, it's gloves, but any kind of athletic attire is okay when you're applying. Now to get out of the academy, you have to do it in full bunker gear, which I hope we get to put you through today. Will it mess up my hair? It's totally gonna mess up your hair. It's gonna make it even better. At least you're totally honest with me. Okay, let's say you pass that physical ability. What's the final step in getting an offer? So the final step's gonna be your medical background and your, your personal history background. So we do screen, we look at your social media posts, what your history may be, criminal record, and then we also do a medical screen. So we wanna make sure that you're physically healthy, that you can take on the demands of the job. Check your social media, so let's make good choices, young people. Do you hear me right now? Wow! Happy to mess up my hair for such a fantastic organization. I hope we make it flat. Yeah, and you know what? You get one extra point if you look like Superman. <laughs>